Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ciara and please do remember if you do not like what I say, how I say it, or why I say it, then please do feel free to click off this video and go about the rest of your day in peace. And so we are back with another pick a card and this is going to be covering what it is you need to know for the month of April, which I'm sure a lot of us are curious about. The world has been in a very crazy state as of late with the whole coronavirus stuff going on. So I really, really hope that all of you are staying safe. You're doing that social distance, distancing. You're washing your hands all the time. You know, you're being smart about this and you're not panicking. Panicking is not going to help anything in this situation. Yes, the coronavirus is something to take seriously. It's not just, you know, fake news or anything like that. It is a serious thing to consider, especially if you are immune compromised. But if generally you are a healthy person, um, you are at a less risk for it, but it doesn't mean that you shouldn't take it seriously. Um, there's a lot more that I can say about that, but I don't want to have this be kind of like a ranty thing, getting into all, all the stuff that is coming up because of this, how the world is going to be viewing things much differently, I feel like, coming up here. It's a very Age of Aquarius thing that is happening right now. So with that said... As you can see, we have four piles here for what it is you need to know for April. And what I will say is that each one of these piles is unique. Each pile has its own set of cards that is completely different from the rest of them. So each one is, again, unique and special in its own way. So how you can choose, of course, your pile today is by the image of the back of the card or by the crystals that I have here. So for pile one, we have this selenite piece right here. Isn't that just so cool to look at? For pile two, we have this giant piece of serpentine. For pile three, we have this lovely Labradorite piece. I absolutely love Labradorite. And for pile four, we have this piece of Charite. So... Definitely take as much time as you need, meditate on the piles, you know, use a pendulum if need be, use your own body as a pendulum, whatever it is you need to do to connect your intuition, your higher self, your higher guides, to help you choose the pile or piles that are best for you. Because of course, if you are attracted to more than one of these piles, that is perfectly fine because your personal message might be spread across more than one pile because these are general readings, which means not every card, not every message is going to resonate for you personally and what you need to know for the month of April. April. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into these messages. Right, for all of you who chose pile one with the selenite piece and this one, I will also be pulling uh, the charms for you guys here to see what else you need to know for the month of April. So we're going to start with that. Alrighty, so let's see what we have going on here for your charm. So for a couple letters here, we have an I, we have an L, we have an O, an E, another E, we also have an A, and another L. So if there is some sort of significant initials, uh, words, names within those letters that you see, do feel free to share them down below. Um, so let's see what else we have here. We also have the message of your greatest strength is love. You are unlimited. Your talents will be recognized and suitably rewarded. Especially if you follow your heart when it comes to whatever your talents are. Um, you will soon meet the person you admire. Lucky numbers are 3, 4, 16, 18, 44, and 45. We also have trust in the union of intelligence and integrity. We also have peace of mind comes piece by piece. Again, don't be freaking out right now. Um, try to control your thoughts as best you can. Um, we can't solve problems by using the same kind of thinking we used when we created them, Albert Einstein. So yeah, I definitely feel like that's a huge message right now for the collective. Uh, as well as just for you guys who picked this pile personally, it's like you can't be thinking about things in the same view, in the same way as we were, you know, in the past. Things are literally going to drastically change because of what we're all experiencing right now as a global collective. And 
again, that old thinking is just not going to work when it comes to all areas of life, when it comes to personal life, when it comes to work, when it comes to school. It's like everything is going to change. Consumerism, it's like don't be stuck in your old sort of programs of thinking in old patterns. For you guys, April is going to be about breaking patterns. Uh, we also have the zodiac signs of Cancer, Capricorn, and we have Sagittarius. So um, you guys could either be a Cancer, Capricorn, Sagittarius, or you have these signs in your chart, or maybe these represent people you're dealing with in April. So we have with Cancer, the keyword here is imaginative. With Capricorn, it's ambitious. And with Sagittarius, it's optimist. Yeah, you need to be optimistic when it comes to April that things are going to work itself out. Definitely be using and engaging with your ambi uh, your ambition as well as your imagination. Both of those things are going to go hand in hand for you. Again, you are unlimited. So if you have an idea that you want to pursue, you need to start putting the actual action and work into it. Um, definitely be working on getting grounded here because we have this carnelian piece. So I feel like this is connected to your root chakra as well as your sacral chakra. So if you're curious about any of that, I did just recently do a series of videos about those chakras. So, and it was a pick a card. So definitely be working that as well as your crown chakra, having clear thinking, you know, enjoy every day. You need to stress less. Everything is going to work out for the best. There might be some unexpected surprises here. Definitely integrate that shadow self. That shadow self is really important. It's going to give you a lot of key insight. There's a little bit of communication coming through, regrowth. Um, being able to adapt and reform yourself in a new way than you were before. Yeah, something about family or maybe love. Again, your roots, where you come from, what anchors you down. There's things changing here in April for you. So you really need to pay attention to your intuition. And some of you can be very psychic. So you really need to pick up and nurture those psychic abilities and really live in the moment, in the now. Um, yeah, for some of you, there could be a message of love from afar. Uh, maybe something about foreign exchange or foreign person that you're talking to uh, maybe even <laughs> we have the plane here so uh, again travel is not advisable right now but there is something important about travel again about some sort of distance um, maybe also music so maybe connecting to somebody through music again connecting to somebody online um, that has some distance from you so with that said, let's go ahead and move this aside and start getting into your cards here. So for the tarot, we have strength. We also have the four of cups. And we have the knave of wands. So again, the knave of wands can definitely relate to travel, even though, again, travel is not advisable right now. But it seems like you guys have some ideas for me. If it, it definitely feels like April is a big part of um, re-engaging with your passions, rediscovering long lost passions. Um, because again, you were kind of sitting on an idea for way too long, or you felt like you didn't have opportunities, but really you have way more opportunities than you realize. It's just that you weren't engaging with them because you couldn't see it. Um, again, with strength being here, this is going to require you to really step up and take charge of the situation, but in a way that is um, not overbearing. Again, it's realizing that and really recognizing the weaknesses you have as well as the strengths and having courage with that. It's like your weaknesses... They don't have to be weaknesses if you can own up to them because there is definitely a message here with behind a mask that you guys are maybe hiding too much of your true self that people sometimes I, I open right up to it um, don't recognize the real you because again you're hiding too many aspects of yourself. Maybe there's something you're afraid of expressing or showing. But I feel like you're going to connect to somebody who's really going to encourage you to show that side in April. So yeah, choosing self-acceptance. A woman wears an elegant mask that covers the top half of her face. It hides her identity beautifully. Even her friends won't be able to recognize her. This card reveals an important conflict in your intentions. You have times when you view yourself as... Uh, your view of yourself is so depleted, you believe you must hide who you are and pretend to be someone you're not. 
This gets you into a whole lot of mental messes. You compare yourself to others, always competing and often losing in your own mind. Your perfectionism can create performance anxiety and cause you to worry about what others think. Worst of all, this ongoing current of self-judgment becomes a raging energetic river that pushes your goals away. It's absolutely impossible to attract your real desires if you never allow yourself to be the real you. This card is telling you that you can and must shed this false condemnation of yourself, no matter how deep this pattern is. Your value comes from your eternal truth, not from others' input. So choose to relax and let the mass go. Open up to spirit's light within and around you and be yourself. When you accept yourself as you are, no matter what anyone else may think, you will feel completely liberated. Perhaps for the first time in your life. So again, a lot of this is ha about having the courage to liberate yourself and again, reconnect to who you truly are inside. Because again, it feels like there's something that you've been ignoring or you've been sleeping on and it's like you're, you're feeling really dissatisfied with life and it's like you're kind of... For some of you, it could be kind of this pity party thing where it's like, oh, woe is me, and I don't know how to fix this, and I, you know, everybody, the world is out to get me, whatnot, and you're not realizing that really the problem is with you. It's not the world that's trying to do this to you. It's you doing it to yourself. So again, you need to kind of wake the fuck up and realize that, hey, I need to slay my own demons within. And again, that's about recognizing that shadow aspect. So we also, and it's crazy, we also have Cardinal here with passion. So yeah, what are you passionate about? Because you really need to engage with that because it's what's going to really help you here. So let's see with the cardinal. Cardinal, uh, cardinal birds are known for their territorial nature and elaborate nest construction, which the male and female birds build together to provide a safe and comfortable home for their chicks. Their passionate music calls and songs connect us with feelings of peace and joy. During courtship, the males often collect offerings of seed for their females and feed them beak to beak. Male cardinals spot the vibrant, um, spot the vibrant pl plumage of bold red tones, while the females are usually fawn or gray. Their chested, crested heads and masked-like faces, facial markings, there you go, look, there's that mask again. Add to their beauty an almost regal-like stature. Cardinals are monog monogamous birds who sing their love songs to each other and even perform duets together, demonstrating their love and passion. The males also mark their territories with song, which is a true example of how a seemingly innocent but beautiful gift can create huge impact and help us to stand out and hold space for others. Crimson red is the color of passion, power, confidence, and strength. Therefore, we can draw upon this standout feature and learn that in order to lead a full uh, life full of passion, we must draw on our own inner strength, confidence, strength, confidence, and sexuality to excite and energize us to move forward by doing the things that really make us feel alive. Cardinals teach us to examine what we really love about our lives and to then nurture and defend what we hold most dear. It is here we can see what drives us and what is really important to us, thus giving insight into what work we feel called to do in this lifetime. See? So again, you really need to engage with everything that represents that root chakra and the sacral chakra, which is creativity, it's your roots, it's your family, it's your stability, um, it's your sexuality, sensuality. It's like all these things are really, really important for you in um, April. And again, really removing that mask. Because I feel like that mask is really at conflict with whatever it is that you're trying to manifest here passion-wise. And it's crazy that, again, this is talking about that red, uh, crimson color because we have a lot of that color coming up here, even here with the hunter. Aggressor, tracker, and provider. And we also have the monster within. Internal struggle, personal challenges, wanting to improve. You guys want to improve, but it's like you don't know how. But a big part of the you don't know how is because you're doing it to yourself. It's not something that's being done to you. It's you doing to yourself. So for these particular cards, I'm going to read both the blessing and the curse side of it. So the blessing side for the monster within is knowing your own faults and flaws can give us the tools to transform them into strengths. The curse side of it is unable to find the good in your own mistakes, blind to the potential for change, defining yourself only in negative terms. So a lot of you are kind of doing that. Again, it was like recognizing your weaknesses. 
Uh, some of you, again, I was talking earlier with your chimes about music. Maybe some of you are very musically inclined or maybe you have a passion to explore music. Uh, but with working with this card is all about if you begin to practice discipline each day and create new ways of dealing with frustrations and difficulties, you will find your so-called negative traits can be reshaped and who you are will be redefined. Changing yourself is a great purpose. This is yours at this time. See? And I just saw 1222, so I don't know if that's significant for some of you. Um, and then with the hunter here. The blessing side is it is natural and wise to allow the part of you that is active and strong and forceful to have expression. It is time to actively seek that which you want. See how far your strength can take you. The curse side of it is there is always the potential that the hunter can become ruthless. You can maintain discipline by focusing on what it is you seek and refuse to be distracted by the pursuit of power for power's sake. So there's discipline coming up twice for both of these uh, cards here. So definitely for April, you have to be disciplined. If you want to succeed in whatever it is you want to manifest here, whatever your goals are, you have to have discipline on yourself. So how to work with this card is it is time to establish how to obtain what you want. You must not ask another to go after it. And while the hunt will take place on the outside, it will also take place on the inside. You must find that part of your part of you within that has the courage to chase what you would make yours and be honest about it. See, again, all of these are totally resonating with each other. Again, some of you, you're hiding behind a mask. You're not pursuing your goals. You're afraid of that monster within that internal struggle. You don't want to face up maybe to your weaknesses because you feel like your weaknesses are what are holding you back. But again, it's just a matter of having discipline and really sticking to the passion and the practice. It's like, if you really want to be a musician or something, it's like, you have to put in the practice. It's not just going to be handed to you or so, not somebody else is going to do that thing for you. You have to put in the work and you have to put in the research to go out there and find the answers for yourself. You have to be the hunter. You have to provide for yourself. You have to have that courage. So that is what you need to know here for the month of April. So if this resonated, please do leave a like on this video. Comment down below what you thought about it. If you would like to help and support the channel in any way right now. Um, again, there's going to be links to my Ko-fi, to Patreon, which is going to be up and coming. And... If you'd like to follow me over on Instagram, because that is the best way to stay up to uh, date with what I'm doing, definitely follow me over there. There's also Amazon Wishlist. And um, if you'd like to book a private reading with me or me and my Pisces twin, all that info is down in the description. <laughs> you can tell I haven't done this in a couple days because I took a break. But uh, I will see you guys in the next all right, one. For those of you who picked Pile 2 with this giant piece of serpentine here, it is so heavy. We're going to go ahead and actually start by pulling some charms for you for what it is you need to know for the month of April. So, let's go ahead and see. Alrighty, so we got a lot of additional messages here, but let's start with looking at the letters we have. So we have a B, we have an E, we have an O, an I, we have an R, we have an A, we have another R, and we have a C, uh, and we have a V, too bad we don't have another A. Or that would be my name. <laughs> so, again, if you see any special, I see car. Something about a car may be significant for you guys in April. Um, again, if you see any specific words, names, initials that are significant for you, definitely do feel free to uh, comment them down below. So I'd love to know what you guys are seeing. So, let's see here. We got a lot of additional little messages, so let's get through those. Express your talent in art and music. So have some fun in April and just do some crafty things. You probably will have the time to do that anyway. Sell your ideas. They are totally uh, acceptable. 
We have what sh belongs to you shall come to you. This is such an important message for so many people to understand. Again, don't fret and worry about if this thing is coming to you or this relationship or this person. It's like, if it's meant for you, you have no reason to worry because it will come to you. And again, if it doesn't, it wasn't ever meant for you to begin with. Uh, live righteously and love everyone. Yeah, definitely open up your heart to other people. Be kind to everybody right now because it's like too many people are being too cruel um, with a lot of things. So it's just like have an open heart. And I definitely feel like having an open heart is extremely important. Love might be on kind of the table here for some of you, but I am, I'm not sure yet. We are born wise and we are born complete. Live by your inner knowledge and strength. We also have... Lift people up to their potential and higher self. We have, my opinion is that you never find happiness until you stop looking for it. That goes back to what belongs to you shall come to you. We also have, we are born wise and we are born complete. How did that get in there twice? So again, that message is really important for you. In the beginning is you, in the middle is you, and in the end is you. You can do so much more to inspire and help other people than you realize, I feel like. An attitude of gratitude brings opportunity. Be grateful for every little thing that you have. Don't be greedy right now. Don't be worried. It's like, be happy in the moment. Be happy with your family. Whatever you consider family. Again, family is more than just blood. You are unlimited. So we also have, I'm a Dean girl, but I'm Sam curious. So again, some of you might be exploring some different options. I definitely see that stability and growth is really important. Your ancestors might be reaching out to you. You might be following in your ancestors' uh, footsteps in some way. There's definitely some new bright opportunities coming through. Something about, um, this might be very specific, a necklace or something, like an heirloom. An heirloom necklace of some sort uh, might be important to you guys. Some sort of new gift. Um, commitment of some sort. I feel like this is commitment to whatever your task is here of lifting up other people. Strength is really important. Having that fire and that courage, uh, definitely birthing something new, creativity and fresh ideas. Um, some of you could be really interested in literally working with magic, uh, or Wicca or something along those lines. Again, protection, working with the elements and having fun with it. I feel like, uh, it's really important to have some really playful energy here because the dolphin is kind of stuck on this and is not wanting to let go. So it's like, gotta have fun with whatever it is that you're doing, whatever is inspiring you, bring up and lift other people up. Um, I feel like some of you, I don't know why it's like, oh, something about cooking. Cooking is going to make other people happy somehow. Uh, you know, sharing in your joy that you feel. And again, helping to un uh, uplift other people. Going through a transformation of some sort. Um, again, maybe music. I see with these uh, colors here. You know, again, having a clear mind, having clear focus, definitely working on that sacral chakra as well as the solar plexus chakra. Um, again, sensuality, creativity, sexuality, uh, as well as your personal power, your self-confidence. Those are all really important. Really speaking up and connecting and being sensitive to your environment, making sure that you are creating the best environment possible for yourself. Again, I feel like unexpected gifts or little joys. Um, starting something new and really like putting in that energy and that fire into it. Hmm. All right, so let's go ahead and set this aside and see what is happening with your cards here. For the month of April, so we have the Knave of Cups. We also have the Ace of Swords. And we have the Six of Wands. This is going to be, I think April's going to be a really good month for you guys. Again, I feel like you are starting something new and you're taking a new perspective on things. You're not, I feel like, again, because that sword is a double-edged kind of thing. So it's all how, the outcome of it is all dependent on how you use it. And again, what you're thinking and what you're saying. I feel like some of you are really taking a more positive outlook on things. You're being more optimistic and it's going to really bring you a lot of victory. There's going to be some sort of victory. Um, oh, I read that as the six of wands. It's actually the nine of wands. But again, I feel that there is some sort of victory for you guys. Um, but it's required that you kind of expand outside of your typical routine again you're kind of raising your cup and you're sharing that cup with other people in some way again 
make sure you're practicing that social distancing, but it's like you can still share and you can still connect to other people. There's so many ways of doing that than just necessarily physical contact. Um, and I definitely feel like here it's about communication with the sword element being present. So it's like have your, uh, you know, always have a solid foundation when it comes to your defenses, but it's time to sort of, again, op that open-heartedness with the Nave of Cups being here. Maybe even opening up to a new person. Let's see what else we have. So we also have Ladybug, Accept Happiness and Good Fortune, Archangel Prem Premnilk? I can't even say that. And we have the cow with give with unconditional love and grace. Again, I feel so much of April for you guys is about giving back in some way. Having some sort of good luck as well. So let's go ahead and see more about these specific messages. So let's see. The ladybug, or actually the cow comes first here. So let's see about this cow. So the guidance here is, when you receive this card, you're asked to turn to the comfortable, motherly, nurturing, and stable aspect of your nature and balance it with the strong, protective energy that is part of you. Your guidance is to center yourself and come into balance. Make sure you are grounded at all times. Examine your life and see how you can develop your feminine, giving, caring, and benevolent characteristics in a sensible, stable, and earthened way. Then stand in your power and demonstrate um, that you can be your true, true to yourself. Recognize that you're truly lovable no matter how others treat you. Know that you are a unique and special being that, and have compassion for those who have less understanding than you do. So again, trying to be compassionate and forgiving to the people who really don't know any better. Um, and there's a lot of people out there right now, and uh, they're just it's becoming clear who those kind of individuals are. And it's important to just like, again, kind of having that, um, again, that compassion. You're not letting those kind of people tear you down or bring their negativity in your life, but you can be like, you know, you don't know any better, so I'll be compassionate to you, but it doesn't mean you have to abuse me kind of thing or use me. So with the ladybug, if you choose this card, it signals that you are about to receive a blessing from the universe. An angel may touch you. Happiness awaits you. You are illuminated with new understandings or good fortune is coming your way. Give thanks for all that you have received. Again, attitude of gratitude. Um, already so that you are energetically prepared for the new before the gift flies away. Ladybug energy invites you to spread angelic qualities today. This will make a difference uh, to those you touch, and you may be surprised how people and animals will appreciate it. You are also asked to communicate graciously to all the people you meet or write to in a way that will nourish and support them. They see exactly, that's what I was talking about, communication through uh, spoken or written word is going to be extremely important here. So again, maybe like using social media to try to up uplift other people. So we also have here, uh, first chakra, Archangel Michael, and we have uh, door to romance in the reverse. So let's go ahead and talk about these. So with Archangel Michael, again, this is talking about your root chakra. So I feel like your root chakra is pretty good with this card being upright. So Michael holds a beautiful globe of red energy at the first chakra, which is located at the base of the spine. This has to do with stability and security. This is the place where your sense of stability and security is stored. When this card is upright, it reveals that your energy is flowing freely regarding these issues. Even if you had problems with feeling secure in the past, these challenges are beginning to be resolved at this time. Archangel Michael is with you, bringing you strength and personal stability. You are capable of taking action and moving forward on your path, so allow your yourself to feel increasing faith in your own power and security now and only. So I feel like you're going to even be helping other people in this time right now to feel more secure and stable in their current place by being an example. Um, granted, again, there's always challenges. So we have this door to romance in the reverse. So what this is talking about is... You know, this card reverse indicates a delay or disappointment where love is concerned. In a present partnership, it could also be a sign of distance or separation. For some, the door to love may seem to have been shut for a long time, but the energetic universe is always in a state of flow or flux. Knowing this, you can work on making changes in your daily life that will bring more love into your experience. Remember to make yourself and your own happiness a priority. Encourage yourself and always acknowledge how valuable and deserving you are of receiving your own love and that of others. 
Such choices in your attitude and self-treatment will shift any old energy of self-dismissal, changing your core consciousness and all that you attract. So tell the universe you're ready for real love because you're finally willing to give it to yourself. So again, especially with this, especially with that message of like distance or separation in a present relationship for some of you, that actually makes a lot of sense because again, if you're kind of in quarantine or something like that, you are separated or probably at a distance from the person that you are involved with or you're in a relationship with, the people you love. So that, again, I don't really feel like this is like, oh, you're breaking up with somebody. Maybe in a rare case for like a couple of you, that could be the case for April. But I feel like, again, it's more of a reflection of this physical distance between you and the people that you are around. So it's like, this is kind of a core test for you to, again, build that stability and that security for yourself. And again, loving yourself at this time, just because you can't, again, kind of rely or use, you know, other people to give you that satisfaction. So your final card here is Candy Cane Angel. It's time for a treat. And that's really funny because again, we have the this charm in your cast here. And it's like, yeah, something about a treat. So let's go ahead and see about this. So this is card 37. So with her, her meaning is, it's definitely time to have a treat, to give yourself the thing you've been putting off until you have worked hard enough or saved enough money or done with uh, out uh, without long enough or done without long enough. This card can come up for people who have been taught to save before they buy. A wonderful strategy, but at times this can tip over into almost habitual denial. You're tr you truly deserve some pleasure at this time in whatever form you have been denying yourself. Do not rationalize or talk yourself out of it any longer. The candy cane angel has appeared. She has made a bargain with you and you are now going to have some fun, some delight, some tasty treats, whether in the form of food, clothing, luxuries, or experiences that you have forced yourself to do without. The luxuries are not only available to you, they are necessary for your growth. Step out of the consciousness of lack and into the consciousness of I deserve and grant yourself this lovely moment of luxury. It's time for some Jova de, is it Jo de Vivre, an enjoyment to restage or grant, uh, restage a grand entrance into your life. So yeah, again, it's like, take this time to kind of treat yourself. Again, what else do you have to do? I feel like some of you have been working so, so hard. You're so exhausted. And it's like, you're still putting up the fight, but it's like, it's, this is kind of an, ex you can almost use this time as an excuse to finally give yourself that break that you've been meaning to, to read that book you've been meaning, meaning to read, or take that long bubble bath or something like that. You know, treat yourself to a little bit of something um, in April is going to be really important. So with that said, that is your message here for what you need to know for the month of April. So if this resonated, please do leave a like on this video. Comment down below what you thought about it. Um, if you'd like to help and support the channel in any way, there's going to be links to my Amazon wish list, uh, my Kofi, as well as my Instagram. If you'd like to come and follow me over my Instagram, I'd love to see you guys over there. I'm actually doing a um, free reading giveaway right now until April 17th. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely hit up my Instagram. So... With that said, if you'd ever like to book a private reading with me or me and my Pisces twin, all that info is going to be down in the description. So I will see you guys in the next one. All right, one. for those of you who picked Pile 3 with this Labradorite piece here. Isn't this just so pretty? Oh, I'm trying to get that flash to come back. Oh, there we go. Look at that. All right, so we're going to actually go ahead and start by pulling you guys some charms to see what you need to know from them for the month of April, so. Alrighty, so. Oh boy, so we have walk beautifully, talk beautifully, live beautifully, use your head to live with heart. We also have Good news will come to you from far away. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing that. We are born wise. We are born complete. We also have live righteously and love everyone. Let's see. Is there any other homes hiding here? We have our letters. So we have A, H, W. We also have a C. We also have an N. We have an M. We have an S. And we have a T, so 
Um, if there's any significant words, um, initials, names, places that you see in these letters, um, definitely comment them down below because I would love to see know what you guys are seeing. So we have the zodiac sign of Aquarius. So with that, it is friendly. So um, maybe you guys are Aquarius or you have somewhere Aquarius somewhere in your natal chart. So you definitely want to look that up and see where. Or maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius here in April. So, a ship in harbor is safe, but that is not what ships are built for. So, again, kind of expanding your, expanding outward, I just feel like. You know, however it is that you can safely do that right now. Um, again, think about your shadow self, because, again, the shadow self is always an important aspect. Being stable, being grounded. Um, some unexpected... I'm getting like unexpected communication as well as unexpected like riches or prosperity or something, some sort of idea. Uh, maybe somebody reaching out to talk to you, another half, somebody who's really into music perhaps. Yeah, a musician maybe. Uh, definitely pay attention to your sacral chakra. Again, sensuality, sexuality, creativity. Engage with that creativity. This is my Halloween costume. So yeah, being really authentic and unique no matter what that is for you. Um, maybe some things from the past, reflecting on the past, healing from the past, again, putting in that creativity and that transformation, but being very balanced about it. Balance and new growth, your family is important, your family lineage, your um, ancestors here. Definitely somebody is going to be offering you a new cup, or maybe you're going to be offering and extending your cup out to somebody else. Your throat chakra is very important. Again, maybe some of you are musicians or your singers. This is coming up, again, with all these readings, there's a whole collective feel here. Um, maybe, again, March has been a significant month for you. There's been some things that have occurred in March that have really brought you some new insight. Or maybe somebody who was born in March did. Uh, we have the I Love Football, so maybe that's significant for some of you. I felt like there's a family member that really loved football that you're thinking about. Uh, and, of course, we have this passport here. So there was a message about... Uh, good news is coming to you from far away. So again, maybe this has something to do with communication about really anything with our job, a person, or an opportunity that is overseas. Granted, uh, you might be getting some news about it. Again, right now is a complicated time when it comes to travel. But again, there's something significant about passport here for you guys. However, that resonates so with that said, let's go ahead and jump into your tarot cards and oracle cards now for the month of April. So we have the Five of Cups. We also have, we have the Nine of Wands coming up again in another group. So that's kind of interesting. <laughs> that That's social distancing. <laughs> we also have the Two of Pentacles. We have... The Knave of Wands coming out again. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. So, yeah. Yeah, I definitely feel like balance is super, super important for you guys in April. You need to balance some things out. You've gone through some harsh things. Um, but this is kind of, if you can see this as an opportunity to re-engage with your own growth and your own prosperity. Nurturing yourself and this new beginning that's happening. This spring energy that is coming in. Um, you're going to really benefit from that. Uh, again, you can't have too many of your walls up right now. Again, practically speaking, you know, you're staying indoors, you're staying safe, and you're not, you know, going out all over the place. You know, that's important right now to keep your health in check, but you can expand in other ways. Again, this is a time right now where everybody is needing to think kind of outside of the box. And I feel like you have that opportunity here. There, again, there might be a person, a young, younger person who is going to be reaching out to you that is foreign, that might, you know, uh, share some interesting things with you that might help you to work through whatever it is that you're having an issue balancing out or letting go here with the Five of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. Let's see what else we have. Oh my god, this is so crazy. Yeah, for you guys who picked this pile, go back and watch pile two as well because... Uh, they got a lot of the same cards, and they also got a ladybug card, so that is pretty trippy right there. So let's go ahead and see about this ladybug's message from this deck for you guys. It says, this is a time of good fortune and abundance, so be willing to receive all good things in your life. A very, very similar message. So, oh, there was a ladybug. Where did you go? All right, so... 
This is an auspicious time for you, one that is extraordinarily powerful. You'll find that everything goes very smoothly with little effort on your part. Your thoughts will be manifesting much more quickly, so be observant and careful about what you're thinking. If you lapse into thinking about uh, what you lack, that five of cups, or what's missing, uh, remind yourself of all the things in your life, food, shelter, your loved ones, or even the gift of life itself for which you're grateful. Gratitude is the key to continually receiving good fortune, joy, and abundance. Be willing not only to ask for, but also to graciously receive and accept all that comes your way. So ask for whatever you want, then imagine already having that which you requested. Can you feel what it is like when you think of having it already? Notice any conditioned or habitual thought patterns that may interfere with your acceptance of what you're asking for. If this happens, return your attention to thoughts of gratitude. In fact, express your thankfulness as if it has already manifested and continue to monitor any thinking that would otherwise block you from receiving. If you ask for something and then uh, negate it with insur uh, insurmountable disbelief, the results you get will be the same as if you hadn't asked. So ask and then be willing to receive. So the associations with this card are fertility, renewal, regeneration, rebirth, faith, family, Mother Mary, abundance, hope, meditation, prayer, uh, delicateness, joy, and fearlessness. So many people are getting the same message. Like I, I feel like this is just an overall message for pretty much everyone here coming into April. Again, that, it's because of what we're all going through right now globally. This, this kind of message makes a lot of sense. So we also have here for you guys, we have mountain with strength and we have forest with breathe. Again, everybody's getting like the same messages. This is so trippy. But with these, I guess it's not really trippy. Again, it makes sense. So with the forest, this is all about your breathing is too shallow. Although it may feel natural, it is unhealthy habit that causes this shortness of breath. When you unconsciously shorten your breath, no matter if it's habitual or triggered by some event or circumstance, it activates certain psychological signals that prepare your system for fight or flight. Another conditioned response to perceived danger is to hold your breath. This is your nat survival response, although it does not serve you to do so. So breathe. Inhale deeply, regardless of your concerns, worries, or problems. Then let it go. Next, allow yourself to breathe a little deeper and slower a few times. Remember that every breath you inhale is a gift, and every breath you exhale is a gift. The forest is a clear reminder of how this works. So again, in April, do breath work. I feel like some of you um, may even suffer from like anxiety attacks. And so, again, working on your breath and stopping whatever the habitual pattern is, because that's come up more than once. I definitely feel like there is some sort of habitual pattern that you guys are kind of going back into. And again, it could be a mode of thinking or belief here with like the five of cups and the nine of wands. So it's like you really need to fight against that and you need to be more calm, more more sure in your own security and abundance here like the queen of pentacles it's like she's got all of her shit together she is the queen of the castle and she knows how to do her work well whether it's in business or it's in her home or personal life it's like she is not worried she knows how to balance so definitely be working on that guys so we also have the mountain for you so let's go ahead and talk about that so with the mountain it makes no sense to deny the strength you have at the cost of allowing yourself to be reactive and subject to external influences, far beyond what is healthy for you. Imagine yourself as a mountain of strength, solidly grounded in the earth, your head held high as if you were touching the sky. Do so without straining, just as the mountain itself does not strain. The current situation calls for you to be vigilant, but not to the point of fear or paranoia. Exactly. Be that rock of strength that you are capable of becoming. The solidness of your resolve will be clearly communicated when you model yourself after the towering immensity of a mountain, impenetrable and instructable. 
Standing steady like a rock is what is called for at this time. I feel like that is part of the positive aspect of the nine of wands here for you is being stable, being sure, and again, not feeding into the fear and the panic that you feel, especially about the current situation. It's like, no, there's opportunity here. There's reason to be grateful for everything that you have. So focus on that. Focus on your passions. Focus on the time that you've been given to finally breathe, to stop, to collect yourself, contemplate, and breathe. So with that, your final card here is the wood maiden with trust. You need to trust yourself. So this is card 39. So let's see. So what she says here, the maiden smiled at her and said in a sweet voice, uh, Betsuka, do you like to dance? Her manner was so gracious that Betsuka no longer felt afraid and answered, oh, I could dance all day long. So I'm not going to go into the long story here about what this is about, but if you guys are interested in it, definitely look it up. This was a is a traditional Czech uh, fairy tale, but the meaning here is trust in a gift given. Be content with simple things. A good, a good nature brings great rewards. Fairies come to the innocent and the sweet of temperament. Even small rewards can yield great changes. Awareness can come at a price. So again, I feel like there might be some sort of gift or some sort of thing that is given to you. A, again, a cup offered. And again, you need to be content with the simple things that you have right now. Be grateful for those things because they're worth more than gold. Um right now for you. So again, that's a good mindset to go into April with. Again, work on that breath, work on that strength, break whatever habitual pattern that you're falling into, whether it's fear, paranoia, anxiety, you know, whatever it is, you need to find balance again. So with that said, that is everything I'm seeing here in your guys' pile. So if this resonated, please do um, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, turn on the bell notification if you do not want to miss any future videos. And if you'd like to help and support the channel anyway, there's going to be links to my Amazon wish list, to my Ko-fi, to my Instagram. So definitely come over and join my Instagram because I'm doing um, a free giveaway over there right now for a reading. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely check that out. And if you would ever like to book a private reading with me, if you don't want to wait to for the possibility of winning one. Uh, all that info is going to be down in the description for me or me and my Pisces twins. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Alrighty, for those of you who picked uh, pile four, the last pile here with the Charite, we're going to go ahead and actually start by pulling you guys some charms for what it is you need to know for the month of April. So let's see. stuck on my finger. <laughs> so maybe some of you, mm, I don't know, commitment of some sort coming in. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. So again, a lot of people are getting the same charm. So the number two might be very significant. Again, two, partnership. Um, we have, we are born wise. We are born complete. We also have Experience will give you the power and confidence to be you. We also have appreciate yourself and honor your soul. We also have you will win success in whatever calling you adapt. We have in the beginning is you, in the middle is you, and in the end is you. Live by your inner knowledge and strength and follow your intuition. You guys are, are kind of an intuitive group. And I feel like some of you have a very specific intuitive power and it's, it's in your dreams. It's in your sleep that you engage with this. An attitude of gratitude brings opportunities. Again, have gratitude right now for everything you have. The beauty of the soul is constant, continuous, and endless. We also have the gate to happiness is self-compassion. You guys did not get a lot of letters here, but we have... If we have you, <laughs> this is all about you right now. And we have a blank. So I'm sorry, guys. That's kind of funny. Um, but we're going with it. But yeah, you got you. Got you. <laughs> uh, some of you are binge watching you on Netflix. Uh, your, my opinion is that you never find happiness until you stop looking for it. We also have, I remember the pizza man and it's a good memory. We also have, I'm a Dean girl, but I'm Sam curious. 
We also have, you can't solve problems by using the same kind of thinking we used when we created them. So again, I'm getting something very specific right here. I really feel like April is going to be a lot about you kind of reflecting on yourself and the experiences you've had, having gratitude for both the positive and the negative, especially when it comes to relationships. I feel like you are really reflecting on kind of the people that you've dated in the past, or you've been involved with, friendships, romantically, family-wise, and you're like, you're honoring the good memories you've had, but it's also you're like realizing maybe patterns of kind of the same people you've gotten involved with and realizing, you know, you're kind of curious about trying something else now. You're, you're, you know that kind of following the same pattern and same thinking as before is obviously not re resulting in the kind of ending you want. So it's like something has to change here and it starts with you. Um, I definitely, we have two spoons here. So, and we got, we have this number of two. Again, some of you are really thinking about partnership. And again, I feel like your sleep is so important. And yeah, we have family. Again, you guys are really intuitive. Uh, you might be very clear audience as well with the guitar here. Very musically inclined. Everybody's been getting that. A lot of you, a lot of people are spending time like exploring music and spending more time with that. Um, the spoons there, it's like kind of taking some time to nurture yourself as well as, you know, realizing that, uh, again, having gratitude for everything that you've been given, you know, kind of not taking for granted the, the silver spoon you've been given in whatever form it has been given. Even if you think that, oh, I don't have anything. Well, that's a bad pattern to be thinking, one. Um, so change that. <laughs> but yeah, you have been given something. Everything is a gift right now, especially. We also have that passport coming up. So again, I don't know how to take the passport right now in this con considering this uh, climate right now. Uh, but there's something important about travel, whether or not you're actually traveling, which again, a lot of people shouldn't be traveling right now. Um, but there is something significant about travel or some foreign place for you guys specifically, whatever that is. Um, something that is grounding to you, something that's an anchor. Also, maybe for some of you, it's something that's holding you back. Hmm. Trying to find your place of belonging. Interesting. Okay, let's let's jump into your cards here and see if we can get some clarity on any of that. So for your tarot, we have the seven of wands. You're putting up a fight. You're standing up for yourself. You're saying no, especially saying no to yourself and repeating the same old patterns. Yeah, we have the three of cups. So connection with others. You know, just because a lot of us are like taking time to not obviously right now engaging with other people physically you can still be connected to one another through again um that's what we have the internet for don't take that for granted it's a way of communicating and connecting to other people we also have the hanged woman so yeah some of you have been sort of in a uh again i'm going to bring up that word habitual pattern where it's like but you're you're waking up to it and you're realizing you made the choices you have and you've seen the results of those things and you're, you're reflecting on all of that and you're cleansing yourself of those things. Yeah, especially, look, we have the moon and you had the moon charm and the owl in your charm. So it's like, yeah, pay attention to your sleeps, to your dreams, to the subconscious world that you're engaging in. This is very Pisces energy right here. We have two Pisces cards, essentially. We also have the eight of pentacles. So yeah, take this time to work on yourself, work on your craft, work on who it is you want to become now. And then we have the hermit. Exactly. Again, you know, use this opportunity, this isolation um, kind of thing to really work on yourself and learn more about who you are as a person. So we also have here the hair with cycles. Yeah, you're going through a specific cycle. And we have kindness with the fruit bat slash flying fox. So with these two, let's see what their message is. And the hair is such a springtime energy as it is. And we are now in spring, so... See, with the flying fox, its message for you guys is choose kindness, which isn't always the easy way. Kindness will always be repaid. Consider others in your decisions, especially those with less power than you, that three of cups, and repay your debts. Spread the seeds of goodwill and your fortunes will grow. And then with the hair, take care of your hair. You have beautiful hair. <laughs> Follow the cycles of nature and you will be uh, rarely disappointed. As energy travels in cycles, seek 
balance. There is a time and season for everything. Plants can't blossom all the time, so be patient. Again, be patient with the uh, with this sort of inner growth that you're going through right now, because it's an important process for you all. We have oh, we have quite a few of these cards. So we have power. We have happiness. Everybody's getting the dolphin in this whole entire reading. That's crazy. And we have perfection. Uh, or actually, not perfection. Purification. <laughs> I can read. I swear I can read. Um, <laughs> happiness. So with this happiness card. Uh, click your heels and shout for joy. The signs are with you. Let your light shine. Abundant good luck awaits you. A gateway is opening for even more joy and happiness. Your life is expanding. Opportunities are emerging. Um... This is a time to go forward with glee. Love deeply and fully. Embrace life with open arms. Goodness is flowing to you. The only thing to be aware of is to monitor, monitor your expansion in a metered way. Too much, too fast can be overwhelming. And you guys have a lot of power behind that. Because you literally have the power card. So, with that... It's talking about this is your time. This is the time to claim your power and step into your potential. This doesn't necessarily mean that you will be without fear. You might feel uncertain, but do it anyway. Be courageous. Let the world hear your voice. Take a stand, Seven of Wands. Yeah, Seven of Wands. Uh, stand up for yourself and for others. Share your passion. Teach from the heart. Write and your words will have great meaning. Hold your body as if you're incredibly valiant, noble, and brave. After all, you are. So yeah, some of you definitely take this time to be journaling, to be writing. You can really manifest well through writing. Or maybe you, some of you have a book inside of you, a story you want to tell. Write that out no matter how much you're worried about maybe what other people are going to think. It's like, you don't need to worry about, this is all about your growth. It's about what you are doing. This is about your cycles. Honor those cycles. And then we have pure purification. That's what I was talking about with the hanged woman here. It feels like a very uh, purifying hanged woman. You're really cleansing yourself and again, embracing and taking hold of your power and honoring the cycle you're in. So with purification, um, it's difficult for new vibrant energy to enter your life. It is if it's clogged with old and outdated energy, cleanse and purify your body and your physical space. This is a great time for a detox, clutter clearing, uh, cleansing, and space clearing. Again, spring cleaning. <laughs> Release outdated energy to invite fresh, clear energy into your life. Eat lightly. Don't take things personally. Release resentment, guilt, and blame. Purify yourself. Thought, word, and deed. Declutter. Decluttering is a modern-day alchemy. If you don't love it or use it, let it go. This card can also represent abundance, as flowing water is a metaphor for prosperity, and summer is the time of expansion. And look at that. We have flowing water right there. I felt like some of you, I got a message that you really need to let go of your ex. And what I mean by that, it's like you're saying, oh, no, I have let go of my ex. What are you talking about? No, you have it because you're still stalking them on social media. You're still kind of like every now and again keeping tabs on them. You need to let that go. Not only do you need to like do a massive spring cleaning on yourself, on your space, because what else do you have to do right now? It's like take this time to completely declare, get rid of all the things that you do not love and you do not use that doesn't give you value or happiness. Let it go. And also do the same on your social media. You know, there's nothing wrong with... I'm just going to say it, unfollowing some people if they're not reciprocating your time and your energy. It's like if they're not looking at your posts, if they're not liking your posts, commenting, engaging with you, they're not really worth your time then, are they? Why should you give away your energy if they're not going to return energy back to you? So that's, again, everything is an equal energy exchange here. And so work on that, even to yourself. So we also have two cards here of the Nautilus Angel and the uh, Microcosm Seascape. So let's see what these specific messages are for you. So with the Nautilus Angel, this is be prepared to accept help from others. That three of cups. Right now, you have a lot on your plate, and it's getting difficult to tackle it all on your own. Striving to be independent is admirable, 
But we are all social beings and at times must rely on each other to, in order to thrive. Maybe you think asking for help is a sign of weakness or you're afraid of being a burden. Just remember at all the times you uh, have given your help and advice and recognize that your loved ones will welcome the opportunity to reciprocate. What was I just talking about? By allowing others to support you, physically or emotionally, you are contributing to a beautiful cycle of giving and receiving, and allowing someone else the chance to experience how rewarding it is to do something nice for another. So yeah, even if you're you're in this hermit kind of stage and you're working on yourself, doesn't mean that you can't accept help when it comes. So then we have card 15, and this is Out of Harm's Way. Someday soon you will bear witness to a traumatic event, but do not fear, you are safe. Although upsetting, an, uh, although upsetting, the upcoming turmoil is removed enough from your person that you will not suffer directly. When the storm arrives, you may feel powerless, but accept that there is nothing you can do. Some things are outside of your control and you simply have to stand by and watch them transpire. So again, maybe again right now, this is totally reflective of just the global state of things of just like how crazy everything is and for you guys it's like yeah you are out of harm's way in that case maybe even for some of you there is a more specific message here of like in april there is going to be something traumatic you're going to bear witness to um and it's going to give you a lot of insight and time to like kind of reflect on jesus what have you been doing with your life at this point and like what is it you want to do moving forward but again it's like this whatever it is it's out of your control and you have to kind of surrender that control right now with the hermit and the hangman it's like also the moon it's like just surrender and understand what's happening within uh because you you can't control what is happening in the world right now so it's like what other choice do you have but to focus on you you even had that you and your charm so with that said, that is everything I'm seeing here in your reading. So if this resonated, please do leave a like on this video, comment down below, subscribe, turn on the bell, all that good stuff. Um, if you'd like to help and support the channel in any way, there's going to be links to my Amazon wish list, to my Ko-fi, to my Instagram, which over on my Instagram right now, I'm doing a little uh, chance to win a free reading with me. So if you're interested in that, definitely go check that out. And... Uh, if you ever like to book a private reading with me, that info is going to be down in the description. Again, if you want to book it with me or me and my Pisces twins. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.